Hello there. Welcome back to Dr. K. Prem Primer Lecture Series. Today we will uh, discuss about uh, baculovirus expression vectors. Baculovirus expression vector. So in the previous lecture, where I'm where I talked about uh, general features of autograph of Californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus, which belongs to the family of uh, baculovirus. So the viruses which are uh, uh, belongs to the baculovirus are used as a expression systems. So collectively called as uh, baculovirus expression vectors. In addition to the autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus, uh, Bambix mori nuclear polyhedrosis virus also uh, be, uh, be, has been used as a expression system. In, in today's lecture, we'll be focusing on uh, autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus how uh, uh, how it is uh, used as a expression system and today's lecture consists of uh, uh, four uh, parts one is a uh, uh, small in introduction about uh, autograph of uh, californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis and uh, its uh, gene polyhedrin and cloning strategy and uh, advantages of the baculovirus expression vectors and the list of proteins expressed using the baculovirus expression system. As you all know that uh, baculovirus, bacula means stick. The viruses which are in a rod shape, they're called as a baculovirus. So autograph of Californica multiple nuclear Polyhedrosis virus have a genome of uh, 134 kb and uh, it's a circular double strand duplex DNA. It's present in the uh, rod shaped capsid and uh, it is having it produces the two types of virus particle upon infection budded virus particles and occluded virus particles. That's about a small introduction. And the second uh, point is that polyhedrin. Why we have to talk about polyhedrin? Because uh, whenever we want to express your gene of interest, so it needs a strong promoter. Any system, if you take, any vector, if you take, if you want to have a huge amount of protein or mass quantity, you need a strong promoter. So in uh, autograph of Californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus genome, if you scan it, there is a pro, there is a, uh, gene called polyhedrin that has a strong promoter. How do you know it has a strong promoter? Because the, the strong promoter is highly expressive. So because of that nature, the polyhedrin is produced a lot. That polyhedrin is involved in the formation of occlusion bodies. So when you see the structure of uh, polyhedrin, and you see, this is a structure of ORF, which it is having the 735 base space. That's a ATG2 staph codon. And then it is having a promoter with the Tata box, CAD box, and uh, another 17 base upstream uh, uh, sequence. So all these three elements are uh, part of a strong uh, polyhedrin promoter. So upon transcription, which starts from the ear and uh, ends at uh, ear, terminated at ear. Upon transcription, it produces a polyhedrin uh, protein. And uh, the poly polyhedrin protein have a 245 amino acids and uh, a 28 KDA protein. And this polyhedrin protein is a major protein in the occlusion bodies. Occlusion bodies. Occlusion bodies are protects the late phase virus particles, which are uh, having the uh, multiple nuclear uh, virus particles or a single MNPV or uh, SMNPV. 
So the polyhedron is present in the uh, matrix of occlusion bodies. So because of the polyhedron, the occlusion bodies are so strong and they can resist the most of the environmental condition and it protects the and it protects the uh, virus particles from the uh, temperature and other environmental factor. So the polyhedron, if you look at the proteum of the uh, insect cell, where 30 to 40 percent of uh, uh, pro, uh, insect cell proteome is uh, ha, is a uh, is uh, con it by the polyhedron protein. So because of its strong nature, strong promoter, and second thing is that the polyhedron protein is not essential for uh, viral replication. So and it is only useful in the formation of uh, occlusion bodies. So if you if you if you can disrupt and uh, place your gene of interest under the strong promoter in place of polyhedron gene physical location, then your gene of interest can be highly expressed. Then you get the huge quantities of uh, your protein of interest. That's the strategy. So then cloning strategy, uh, because of it is a uh, uh, big uh, size of genome and uh, like any other actor, you cannot manipulate in the in vitro. So that here we have to use the transfer vector. First, you have to clone your gene of interest into the transfer vector. Then the recombinant transfer vector and viral genome, both are called transfected into the insect cell lines. Once they're co-transfected, viral genome and the recombinant transfer vector enters, in the, enters into the insect cell. There they undergo the homologous recombination. That's a double crossover. Then uh, the double crossover leads to the replacement of, or you know, the your gene of interest will goes to the goes to the uh, goes to the downstream of a polyhedron promoter, and the polyhedron gene is comes to the transfer vector. Then that recombinant uh, uh, virus with the your gene of interest will be purified. Then later it will be expressed uh, expressed, and you get a more protein. So this is what is the cloning strategy. We'll see the same thing here. See, the specific bacterial virus that has been used uh, extremely autograph of California multiple nuclear polyhedrons. The production of recombinant bacterial virus expression vectors involves the following step. First thing, first step is gene of interest is inserted into the MCCS of trans vector and propagated in E. coli. Next, insect cells in culture are co-transfected with the autograph of California multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus DNA and uh, trans vector, transfer vector carrying the clone gene. Then selection of recombinant AC MNPV genome virus particle. Here you see, usual like any other uh, vector, transfer vector also have uh, uh, following properties like uh, so transfer vector has to be propagated and maintained in the E. coli so that it requires the origin of replication and, uh, uh, and, uh, and an ampicillin resistance marker for the selection of uh, transformants as well as recombinants. And uh, you see the it is having a promoter from the polyhedron or P10, a basic protein from uh, Autograph of California nuclear polyhedrosis virus. And MCCS downstream, downstream from the promoter. And the large tract of uh, AC NPV DNA sequencing planting the promoter and terminator to facilitate homologous recombination between foreign gene and viral genome. This I'll explain with the cut. So this is a transfer vector. You see, this is origin of replication involved in the required for the autonomous replication of plasmid. And this is a ampicillin resistance marker useful in the selection of uh, transformants. 
and this is a polyhedron promoter and this is a polyhedron promoter in between them there is a mccs what is mccs multiple cloning site have a multiple restriction sites to facilitate the cloning of your gene of interest right and not only that this transfer vector have five prime upstream polyhedron sequence and three prime downstream polyhedron sequence so usually promoter mccs and terminator are required but in addition to those uh, elements here you have five prime upstream sequence of polyhedron and three prime downstream of polyhedron sequence why because these sequences are sim same to the uh, same to the autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus uh, uh, virus uh, genome because you see the sequence which is uh, flanking the promoter and terminator the same sequences are present in the viral genome right so now i'll this this uh, downstream to the uh, terminator and upstream to the promoter these sequences facilitates the homologous recombination between the transfer vector and the viral genome to produce the recombinant virus particle here i'll show you the uh, cloning uh, part you see the when you cut the mccs with the enzyme restriction enzyme then it is linearized and uh, with the and your gene of interest can be cloned the next way, this is what is the uh, cloning is over next part is co transfecting into the insect cell lines both the transfer vector and purified autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus genome both are uh, transfected into co transfected into the insects cells because they are the natural hosts of this virus right when you co transfect them right you see the this is a transfer vector and this is this is a genome you see this is a transfer vector and this is a genome of uh, genome of virus and you see the transfer vector with the your gene of interest and promoter and terminator followed by the uh, polyhedron upstream sequences and downstream sequences here a genome with the polyhedron gene and upstream sequence and downstream sequence so when they are co transfected into the insect cells then the transfer vector and the poly the autographa californica multiple nuclear polyhedrosis virus genome undergoes the homologous recombination where they undergo the homologous recombination wherever they share the common sequence there they undergo the homologous recombination you see the common sequences between the transfer vector and the viral genome is a polyhedron gene because the here you see polyhedron sequence upstream polyhedron sequence and downstream polyhedron sequence and here you have a polyhedron gene with the upstream sequence and the downstream sequence so the transfer vector and the viral genome undergoes the double crossover double crossover then the gene of interest from the transfer vector is uh, moved to the viral genome and the viral polyhedron gene moves to the transfer vector that is called as homologous recombination or double crossover so you see the same thing can happen here upstream and downstream and see so you see this is what is happening this is a crossing over double crossover double crossover leads to the so double crossover leads to the uh, the construct with the pi prime upstream from uh, polyhedron promoter gene of interest terminator and uh, uh, three prime downstream goes goes to the viral genome and pure polyhedron gene 
goes to the transfer vector. Now you have a now you have a, a viral genome with the your gene of interest. Hence, it is called as a recombinant genome. Autographa californica, multiple nuclear polyhedrous virus recombinant genome, and you have a transfer vector with the only polyhedrin gene. So right now this uh, you know virus is uh, purified and uh, further uh, characterized. Then uh, later on, uh, this is uh, again infected with the uh, insect cell lines and to express the your gene of interest. And if you look at the applications of this vector system, uh, it facilitates the cloning of large insects. You, you can clone as big as uh, 20 kb also possible with this uh, expression system. And high level of expression, high expression level of clone gene because polyhedrin promoter drives the expression of uh, your gene of interest. So that huge amount of protein is possible with the system. And post-translational modifications are similar to the mammals. Whenever you are expressing the mammals uh, genes into the system, the mammals post-translational modifications and the insects post-translational modifications are similar so that you get the active functional protein from this expression system. And allows, the, allows to express the unspliced genes. If you want to clone into the E. coli or uh, Cervicea, you have to clone only CDNA. But here, you can clone your gene with the introns also, so that, so that if the system can uh, undergo the splicing and uh, get the mature mRNA, then it translates into the protein. This is possible with the system. Functional activity of the recombinant protein, as, as I said, glycosylations and uh, other modifications are also similar so that you get the active protein. Simultaneous, simultaneous expression of multiple genes. So I have shown now uh, cloning of one gene and you can use the multiple genes also. Native localization of the recombinant proteins. So because the, it's a eukaryotic cell and close to the uh, mammals and systems so that uh, the protein, whether it is uh, intended to cytoplasm or the mitochondria or nucleus or plasma membrane or secretory. So whatever its native localization, you can get it. And if you, can mod if you want to modify, you can modify the localization by adding the tags. And you can, uh, the purification also very easy with the system. The next, so these are the uh, proteins which are expressed uh, by using the bacillovirus. And you see most of them are uh, therapeutic use, alpha intron, beta intron, uh, dengue virus type and, uh, antigen, erythropoietin, you see, uh, G protein coupled receptors, malaria proteins, mouse mono mouse monoclonal antibodies, poliovirus proteins. So there are many proteins are being expressed by using the system. So this is all about the uh, autograph of Californica multiple uh, nuclear polyhedrosis virus as a uh, expression system. I uh, hope you like the lecture. If at all you like the lecture, try to subscribe. My channel name is uh, Dr. K. Prem Primer. And if you have any uh, issues, uh, try to write, reach me to the comment session. I'll back, get back to you immediately. So thank you all for uh, listening. And uh, try to subscribe my channel so that you will not miss any updates. See you all with the, see you all soon with the one more video. Until then, bye-bye.